Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about differentiation, and we're applying the product rule. We're going to differentiate each function with respect to x. So if I was given this function, y equals 5x to the fourth minus 3x squared minus 1 in my first parenthesis, parenthesis oof, second parenthesis, negative 5x squared plus 3. Well, I see I have two functions that are multiplying together. I can label the first one f and the second one g. And this allows me to really see the product rule here. So if I find my derivative dy dx, I have to apply the product rule. Okay? Product rule states the first part f, 5x to the fourth minus 3x squared minus 1, times the derivative of the second, which is 10x right there. Then we add the second part g, negative 5x squared plus 3, times the derivative of the first, which is our f here, which is 20 x to the third minus 6x. Okay, so now I need to distribute. So let's go simplify. We've already taken our derivative. So here's the derivative where it exists. Now we need to simplify. So at this point, the rest is just algebra. Negative 10 times, uh, sorry, uh, 5x to the fourth is negative 50x to the fourth. Negative 10 times a negative 3x squared is a positive. Oh, sorry, x to the fourth power. Oof. I got ahead of myself. We add the exponents, it's the fifth power. Negative 10x times the negative 3x squared is a positive uh, 30x to the third. And the negative 10x times a negative 1 is a positive 10x. Now we're adding it together, distribute the next parts. Now we have two parts here, two parts here, so make sure eventually we're going to have four terms. Okay? So multiply here negative 5x squared times 20x to the third is a negative of 5 plus 20 is 100. 100 x to the fifth, negative five x squared times a negative six x is a positive, 30 x to the third. Three times 20 x to the third is 60 x to the third. And three times negative six x is a negative 18 x. Okay, so now we have our long, <clears throat> big derivative. Let's go simplify, let's put combiner-like terms and put our highest degrees first. So dy dx here, let's go simplify this. I have my highest degree I see is to the fifth power. So negative 50 x to the fifth, and negative 100 x to the fifth can mean a negative 150 x to the fifth. And I put dots underneath showing that I've simplified and brought them down. The next one here, I have 30 x to the third, and uh, 30 x to the uh, third, and 60 x to the third. So x to the third is my next highest degree I see. There's no x to the fourth, it's great. So 30x to the third plus 30x to the third is 60x to the third plus 60x to the third is 120x to the third. So I applied these down, okay? So the last ones I have is just 10x and negative 18x, which is a negative 8x. I combine them together. And there we have our answer, our derivative, which is dy dx is equal to negative 150x to the fifth plus 120x to the third. Make sure that looks like a minus, minus 8x. So let's recap. We're given our function here. y equals in parentheses 5x to the fourth minus 3x squared minus 1, which I labeled as f, times g, which is negative 5x squared plus 3. All right, and that's in parentheses right there. I then applied the product rule, which was f times g prime times g uh, plus g times f prime. I then, at this point, when I applied that, I have my derivative. And then at this point, it's just algebra simplified, okay? So in simplification, I was given negative 50x to the fifth plus 30x to the third plus 10x plus a negative 100x to the fifth, plus 30x to the third, plus 60x to the third, plus a negative 18x. So from there, I simplified it again, having my high, highest degrees come first, and we combine our like terms, giving me my final answer, which is dy dx is equal to negative 150x to the fifth, plus 120x to the third, minus 8.